you date an older guy, though, let me tell you, there's a lot of things that you don't know are going to happen. Like, like, yes, for example, like everything in his house was old. Everything. Like his furniture was old. His bed was old. Okay? You have no idea how frustrating it is to be making love, and all you can hear is squeaky creak, squeaky creak, squeaky creak, squeaky creak. Oh, and the bed make noises too. affectionate with each other, like, it's too real. Uh, super affectionate, and um, one day, I spanked him in public. I got arrested for elder abuse. That was not the worst part, you know, like, the worst thing was my friends. Again, you know your friends? They're so shitty sometimes. But no, seriously, like, they used to call me a gold digger. I know. And I don't. No. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? No, I was not. I was not with it for the money. No, I was with it for the free prescription drug. <laughs> Yeah, he did. He got me the wrong. This is a, a, a participatory. <laughs> Everybody has an opinion. Are you a whore, a gold digger? I'm a husband. Okay, let's party, bitches. See, this is how you celebrate your birthday. Did you manifest the shit? You did it? I blame it on you now. It's, it's all your fault, but you know I love you. You know I love you. Um, so, well, the worst thing, actually, with the older guy was, oh, my God, you're going to hate him. He cheated on me. I know. Not only that, he cheated on me with an older lady. I know. I was like, oh, my God, if I want to get back, how can I compete with someone who can take her teeth out? Shock to you, but I'm single as fuck. So. <laughs> what? You? <laughs> you know, I, am, I live in LA, and LA, oh my god, I feel like at my age, the dating pool is so narrow for me, I have two choices a psychopath with no teeth, no job, who cries a Ford Fiesta, or a psychopath with no teeth, no job, who tries a Ford Focus. <laughs> That's it. That's it for me. And uh, anybody here on dating apps? Are you on dating apps? You are? How do you like them? <laughs> She's so cute. so jelly because I didn't I don't only need psychos you know I don't know why I try psychos but good for you I'm very happy for you bitch um, <laughs> uh, to be 21 again God. Uh, between 20 and 70 not so good <laughs> not so hot uh, but I um you know I googled to see which one was the number one dating app and you know which one it was Zeus did you hear about that, that? Okay, so my advice to you is never go on a website that has the word zoo in it, okay? <laughs> because they're not kidding. Okay, so guys have screen names, right? And these are some of the screen names that send me messages. Pimp shit. <laughs> Jaded monkey. <laughs> what? Okay, not only that, that was not the worst part. The worst part was the first messages that they sent me. Oh my God. Okay, like, hey, I like your boobs. <laughs> hey, I want to bend you over and spank you. Hey, I want to split you in half with my gigantic manhood. <laughs> I know. I have a problem with that. My problem is, how do I know they're really sincere? <laughs>
<laughs> and then, you know, I had this doctor, you know, if you land a doctor, it's pretty cool, right? You're set for life. Yes. So, I'm glad you agree. Uh, so, I had a doctor. She's not reading my jokes anymore. Learn from her. Learn from her. No, seriously, he, he actually, he sent me this first message, and he wrote, hey, you're very beautiful and looking for the right one. And he spelled right, W-R-I-T-E. -E. I know, right? <laughs> but he's a doctor, and I wanted so bad to connect with him that I wrote, hey, I want to give you some sex. And I spelled sex S-D-D. <laughs> Oh my God. You guys are a lot of fun. You guys are a lot of fun. Uh, I date a lot, you know. Uh, I'm so happy you find a boyfriend. I still have it. So I have to date a lot. But I'm really bad with names, right? I forget names all the time. I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this. So what I do is I relate the guy to a movie, okay? So that's how I remember. For example, the guy that weighed 350 pounds, Titanic. <laughs> The guy that always left marks on my bathtub, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> the guy who lied about his size, get shorty. <laughs> and the guy who forgot to tell me how big he was, the Hurt Locker. <laughs> so I dated a doctor, not that misspell doctor, but I dated a doctor um, because it's very hard to get good health insurance, right? So I was like, I'm just going to date a doctor. So I dated this doctor, right? And we were making out, right? And so he was touching me and I was like, oh, yes, yes, found any lumps? <laughs> and then we got more into it and I was like, yes, yes, any chance of a pap smear? 